Hello guys, in this tutorial I will show you to how to flash your ESP8266 module. So if you have uploaded a program from Arduino IDE to your ESP module then you won't be able to use your AT commands. So if you want to load the default firmware back into your ESP module and work with AT commands again, you have to flash this module. So I will show you how to flash it. So before we start, we have to download two things. One is the ESP development tool software which will be used to flash it and the other is your firmware. So now let's start with it. So before we start, as usual, we have to get ready with our wirings. So this is the circuit diagram which will be used to uh, program it using AT commands or program it using Arduino IDE or if you want to flash it, whatever it is, this will be the common circuit diagram. So let me give a brief uh, a definition for the circuit diagram. So here we have connected the ESP module with the FTDI board which in turn communicates to our computer through serial communication and we have used LM317 to power the module so LM317 is a differential voltage regulator so here I have used it to regulate 3.3 volt and the push button on the switch is used to uh, change the module to AT command programming or Arduino IDE programming so this push button is used to reset the module and this switch over here toggles the GPIO pin between ground and leaving it free. So when the GPIO is connected to ground, you can use it with Arduino IDE or to flash it. And when the GPIO is left free, you can use it for AT commands. So let me show you the hardware. Here we have our hardware. As I said, here is the push button, which will momentarily connect the RST pin of ESP module to ground. And then instead of using a switch, I have used a perk stick arrangement over here. So this LED over here, the blue LED that you see is blinking because in our previous tutorial we have uploaded a blink program into this ESP module. So now let's go ahead and flash this ESP module. Okay, this is the website. Uh, this is the website of uh, Spirif uh, Systems who is the manufacturer of the ESP8266 module. So in these websites you can find the software that I mentioned. Under the tools section, there will be a software called Flash Download Tools. Go ahead and download it and under SDK and demos you can find the firmware so ours is ESP8266 Nano SDK so it is Nono's SDK so you can download any version that you prefer to so once that is downloaded you would find these two folders the flash download tools and the ESP Nono's SDK so now let's go ahead uh, open the flash download tools and you will get a pop up like this let's select ESP8266 so this is what you will get Notice that the crystal frequency should be kept in 26M and the SPI speed should be 40 and the SPI mode should be QIO and this SPI auto set should be checked and the flash size should be 8M byte. So now uh, open your device manager. and check which COM port your module is connected. Mine is connected to 20, so I have selected the COM port to 20 and the baud rate is 115200. So now, let us go ahead and choose the download path configuration. So there should be totally 5 files, 5 and the location for it and the address for it should be loaded over here. So again, in the link of this, in the, there will be a link in this description where you can find a table which is the address and the uh, files configuration path. So I'll, I'll also show you how to do it, but that table will be more comfortable for you. So let me open that table. Okay, sure have this table besides you and as you can see these are the name of the files should be loaded so now I'll show you how to load these files so just click on this button over here the first name is ESP init underscore data underscore default so this is the file which we downloaded the ESP known as SDK in that under the folder bin you will find the ESP underscore in it. underscore data underscore default content. So open it. And the address for it is this given over here. So it is 0 x f c triple 0. So you want to start it then? Okay, it should turn green. So make sure everything turns green. So similarly, we have to fill out everything. I'll quickly show you how to fill out all these things. So the next file will be black content. 
and that's going to be boot. So this is version 1.4, it's what I'm using, you can have version which is more than this, so it won't be a problem. And then for the users bin, you have to go into this folder, 512 plus 512, and select first one, and then the second one. Now let's go ahead and fill that, that's right. Once everything is filled out, make sure that all these are in green color. So now let's go ahead and flash it. Before flashing it, you have to check your hardware. Make sure that your GPIO pin is connected to ground. GPIO 0 should be connected to ground, which I am doing it using this switch. And then reset the module by using the reset button over here. So once that is done, you should notice that any program which was dumped into this module using the Arduino ID will stop working. So here the Blink program has stopped working. Now let's proceed with uploading the program. So click on the start button over here. You should see the MAC address, the access points MAC and the stations MAC address of your module. And then in this DOS window, you should see the percentage Okay, so once it is completed, the blue bar over here would have reached the end and the DOS window will show you pick path resource finish underscore s dot bmp. So once it is done, just close all these and go back to your Arduino ID. Let's check if the AT commands are working now. So before we do that, we have to put our module in AT command mode. So change the switch i am just simply removing the gpio pins connection and resetting it so once that is done you should be able to talk to the module again using at commands just open a serial monitor make sure you are operating on the current board rate and you have selected both nl and cr now press the reset button again and you'll see some garbage values and then finally a statement saying ready that means your esp module is ready to communicate with 80 commands let's ping it with an 80 yes now it's working so we have flashed the module successfully now you can use any of the 80 commands and program your esp module thank you